During World War II, Steve Rogers is chosen to become the world's first super soldier, but is wounded by a Hydra spy before he can receive the super soldier serum SSR agent Peggy Carter kills the spy and receives the serum instead, she is enhanced, but banned from combat by SSR leader John Flynn after she takes the Tesseract from Hydra with a vibranium shield created by inventor Howard Stark Flynn. Reluctantly promotes her to the combat role of Captain Carter Stark uses the Tesseract to create a weaponized armored suit for Rogers to pilot as the Hydra Stomper Carter and Rogers fight many battles until he goes missing while attacking a Hydra train Carter and her allies find Rogers when they infiltrate a Hydra base and see Red Skull using the Tesseract to open a portal and summon an interdimensional creature which kills him Carter enters the closing portal to force the creature back almost 70 years later, the Tesseract. Act. Opens another portal, from which Carter emerges meeting Nick Fury and Clint Barton in 1988 the Ravagers are sent to Earth by a celestial called Ego to retrieve his son Peter Quill, but mistakenly abduct a young T'Challa from Wakanda 20 years later, T'Challa has become the famous intergalactic mercenary Star-Lord and has been convinced by Ravager leader Yondu Udanta that Wakanda was destroyed Nebula approaches the Ravagers and proposes to steal the embers of Genesis. A cosmic artifact, capable of eradicating galactic hunger, from galactic kingpin Tainlier Tyvan at Tavon's headquarters on Nowhere they offer him the Power Stone as a distraction, meanwhile T'Challa looks for the embers, but he finds a Wakandan spacecraft that was searching for him Nebula seemingly betrays the Ravagers who are captured, but this is another ruse, to obtain the embers Tavon's slave Karina rescues T'Challa and helps the Ravagers defeat Tivan T'Challa, forgives Yondu for lying about Wakanda, and they return there, so T'Challa can reunite with his family elsewhere Ego approaches Peter Quill, who is employed as a Dairy Queen janitor over the course of a week SHIELD director Nick Fury attempts to recruit heroes for the Avengers initiative, but they are each mysteriously killed Natasha Romanoff gives Tony Stark an unexpectedly fatal injection Clint Barton accidentally shoots and kills Thor, before dying in SHIELD custody Bruce Banner Hulk explodes, and Romanoff is attacked and killed while investigating the other murders. Before she dies Romanoff tells Fury that the murders are related to Hope the Asgardians led by Loki arrive on Earth to avenge Thor, but Fury proposes an alliance to apprehend the killer Fury deduces that Hank Pym is the murderer and has been using his shrinking technology to commit the murders as revenge for the death of his daughter Hope Van Dyne who died in the line of duty as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Fury and Loki defeat Pym who was taken into Asgardian custody Loki chooses to stay on Earth. Becoming its ruler Fury begins assembling more heroes finding Steve Rogers frozen in ice and summoning Carol Danvers to Earth after losing his girlfriend Dr. Christine Palmer in a car crash Dr. Stephen Strange travels to Camardage and learns the mystic arts he discovers the Eye of Agamotto which can manipulate time but is warned by the ancient Wen and Wong that doing so could destroy reality two years later Strange repeatedly attempts to use the Eye of Agamotto to save Palmer but she still dies. In every scenario, the Ancient One tells Strange that Palmer's death is an absolute point in the timeline that cannot be undone, but Strange refuses to listen using the power of the Dark Dimension, the Ancient One splits Strange into two alternate versions, one Strange accepts Palmer's death, while the other gains power by absorbing mystical beings, becoming Strange Supreme, this evil version overpowers the good Strange absorbs him and uses his power to resurrect Palmer tearing reality apart Strange Supreme begs the Watcher for help, but he refuses to intervene Palmer, disintegrates, and the universe collapses, leaving Strange Supreme to grieve alone in the quantum realm, Hank Pym finds Janet Van Dyne, but she infects him with a quantum virus, they return to Earth and cause a zombie apocalypse, two weeks later, a group of superhero survivors learn there is a potential cure, at Camp Leahy, they lose Happy Sharon, and hope to zombie attacks on the way there where they meet Vision his mind stone, can reverse the virus exemplified by a cursed Scott Lang's head, kept alive in a jar, but an infected Wanda Maximoff is immune to the cure and vision, has been feeding pieces of T'Challa, to her Wanda breaks free and kills Kurt Akoi and Bucky Vision, commits suicide to give the Mind Stone to Peter Banner, transforms into the Hulk and sacrifices himself to battle Wanda, allowing the others to escape to broadcast the stone's energy across the world Parker Lang and T'Challa go to Wakanda where a zombified Thanos. 
wields a nearly complete infinity gauntlet. In Afghanistan Tony Stark is ambushed by the Ten Rings, but is saved by Eric Killmonger Stevens they return to Stark Industries where Killmonger exposes Obadiah Stane's involvement in the ambush before helping Stark build a humanoid combat drone using vibranium needing more vibranium to create a drone army they arrange for James Rhodes to purchase it from Ulysses Claw at Killmonger's behest Claw leaks word of the transaction. To Wakanda, to lure in T'Challa Killmonger, kills both T'Challa and Rhodes staging it as if they killed each other Stark confronts Killmonger, but Killmonger kills him and makes it look like a Wakandan attack Killmonger, then kills Claw and reunites with his relatives in Wakanda Thaddeus Ross sends the drone army to attack Wakanda, but Killmonger helps the Wakandans defeat them becoming the new Black Panther as the United States prepares another attack T'Challa's sister Shuri visits Pepper Potts who was suspicious of Killmonger and proposes an alliance to expose the truth after defeating the frost giants Odin discovers the abandoned infant Loki and returns him to Lafay centuries later Odin's only son Thor has become a boisterous party-loving prince while Odin sleeps and Frigga is away Thor travels to Earth to host a large party with aliens from across the universe his arrival attracts the attention of Jane Foster and Darcy Lewis who joined the party as Thor and Foster Grow Close Acting Shield Director Maria Hill summons Carol Danvers. To end the destruction caused by Thor's antics Danvers is unable to defeat Thor without exerting her full power, so Darcy and Maria suggest she take the fight to a less populated area, while Foster contacts Frigga with Heimdall's help Maria readies a nuclear strike as Danvers and Thor begin to battle again, but Frigga contacts them and says she is coming Thor and the partygoers clean up the mess before she arrives later Thor asks Foster out on a date, but is interrupted by an army of drones led by Ultron who is in Vision's body, and possesses all six Infinity Stones Ultron having taken the Mind Stone and Division's vibranium body has defeated the Avengers and launched a global nuclear holocaust killing most of humanity when Thanos appears on Earth to complete the Infinity Gauntlet Ultron kills him and takes the rest of the Infinity Stones using them to create a massive drone army with which he wipes out almost all life in his universe Ultron, then hears the Watcher discovering the existence of the multiverse and attacks the Watcher in his multiversal observatory. Meanwhile Clint Barton and Natasha Romanoff survive Ultron's attacks and find a copy of Arnhem Zola's mind in Siberia. They upload Zola into a drone body to try to destroy Ultron's hive mind, but it fails, because Ultron has left their universe. Barton sacrifices himself to allow Romanoff and Zola to escape from the Ultron drones Ultron battles the Watcher across different universes, and defeats him the Watcher, flees to Strange Supreme's collapsed universe to ask him for help, while Ultron plans to conquer the multiverse, the Watcher recruits Strange Supreme Captain Carter Star-Lord T'Challa Party Thor, Black Panther Killmonger, and a Gamora variant who killed Thanos from their respective universes, to battle Ultron dubbing them the Guardians of the Multiverse, they confront Ultron in a lifeless universe, where Strange summons a horde of zombies which Ultron overpowers in Ultron's home universe, the Guardians. Encounter Natasha Romanoff with Captain Carter's help Romanoff shoots Ultron with an arrow containing Arnhem Zola's mind as Zola takes control of Ultron's body and fights Killmonger over the Infinity Stones Strange and the Watcher seal them in a pocket dimension which Strange agrees to watch over the Watcher returns Strange Carter T'Challa Gamora and Thor to their respective universes Romanoff refuses to return to hers. So the Watcher brings her to one in which the Avengers candidates were assassinated where she helps defeat Loki in a mid-credits scene Carter and her universe's Romanoff discover the Hydra Stomper armor with someone inside.